Sherry. Yes. Okay, go. All right. Uh, what are two or three big ideas that you like about the session? Oh, I thought it was really great that, uh, particularly at the end, where we brought together all the different ideas, and then there was a little that magic spark. And one of the sparks was when someone said, well, let's give each group a name. And, and that became really fascinating because what you went from just by doing that was from a disparate lot of ideas into the moment you create a name, then you must create focus. And, and, and focus is absolutely critical. Exactly. Because it now becomes tangible. So the, the trick is to take something intangible and make it tangible. Um, and, and I saw that, and you saw that actually happen in the room. And it's only when we take that step that people will be attracted to the idea. I understand. Like it sort of motivates people to want to go further and really work on it rather than just being a random spark of the moment idea. Exactly, exactly. It's a, and, 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 and something like a name, for example. I mean, it's not just about a name, it's got to be the ideas that underpin that. But one of the things that we need to look at is, you know, there's a lot of people saying, well, what if the government would help, and what if this, what if this? But I think they're missing a really key point. And, and the key point is, and we saw it happen here, the key point is that it's about, it's, it's about getting traction. Well, let me, let me start, start back one. It's about taking action. How do you do that? By getting traction. And how do you get the traction? You get it by creating a traction. So in other words, it's not, uh, just, just consider for the moment, it's not us going to the government and saying, you know, why don't you do something? It's the government coming to us and saying, my God, this is really exciting. We should do something. Like we should be the ones doing the first step. Right? We should be the ones doing <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. I mean, this whole thing about, well, what if the government did that? What if the government did that? that that's right. It's like, um, to take, a, uh, take a, another example, let's suppose... Um, you and I wanted to get on Oprah, as a, for example. Now, if, if we want to do that, I mean, we're going to have to go through all sorts of barriers, which we're never going to get through, to get on Oprah. But what if we what we were doing, device. exactly, what if what we were doing was so exciting that you get the phone call from Oprah, you see? And, and it's, that, it's that interesting change in, in mentality that I think is really interesting. And, and we saw that happen uh, in the room. I'm not sure that, that it got locked in yet, but hopefully over the next uh, day and a half of uh, GSIF, uh, then uh, you know, more of those lock-ins will come. Uh, and that's why this is such a terrific environment, because you know, there's so many people from uh, different areas and different expertise, and then to get that in one place and, and, and then get some focus so that then action happens. Well, that's, uh, I mean, that's the ultimate, isn't it? Yeah, I think, I think you're absolutely right, because getting together of so many people, you know, collaborating together, taking one germ of an idea, and, you know, it's almost like fleshing it out and then going back again and giving it just a name. Yeah. Which encompasses everything. Yes, exactly, exactly. So, I, and, and I think there's, there's, there's more than one route to it. But, and we'll find, I think, over, over, over this, the course of this, I think we'll find many different routes. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's probably not, not true to say there's ever one solution, but there's certainly something that underpins the solution, and that is, and we're going to see that coming up really soon in the fire pit sessions, you know, that are happening right. over lunchtime. I mean, the people that are going to get the best applause are, are the people who are the most attractive. It's, it's as simple as that. Absolutely. And so, so the idea is how can we take our idea and really increase the attractiveness of it, mm -hmm. uh, the articulation of it, in such a way that others want want to get involved, rather than us going to them and saying, please get involved. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different twist. So among all these awesome ideas here, who do you think you see yourself going into a deep collaboration with? Well, I have to say, I, I, I thought the, the stories thing was a, was a great idea, but it's again, it's interesting, they had this whole name, you know, stories for a good cause, right? And, and that's, that, that's great, but it needs to be stories for good, right? So again, the name is, becomes critically important. Um, and stories for good is great because it means you know stories that last as well as stories that do good. Um, and what's interesting is that if you think about who, who could you get to collaborate with stories for good because it's all about young kids using current technology to talk and, and get the wisdom of the elderly. Well, there's a great example of that right here in Singapore unlike any other place in the world. If you go into a McDonald's store, what do you see? You see the young kids teaching the older people new skills, and so the older people all of a sudden get respect for the, for the young people, and then the young people get respect for the 
<laughs> we've got to go. It's lunchtime. But the older, the older people, sorry, the younger people get, then get respect for the new, the, uh, which way around am I going? The younger people get respect for the older people, and the elderly people get respect for the young people, because they... It's what sport takes. There's two ways. So imagine that you had this idea called Stories for Good, and imagine that you went to McDonald's and said, here's this, you know, you're already doing this. It, it, you're already interfacing the young and the old. So all we want to do at 11 o'clock next Saturday is we want to have a Stories for Good session here, and there'll be kids coming down. We might even learn them the technology, and there'll be, you know, the uncles and the aunties, as we call them here, and they'll be there, and we'll capture their story, and it will be Stories for Good. I, mean, I think that's a, that's a great example. And then o over there we had uh, the fair exchange thing, mm. which I thought, as, the, as they went through the idea, I thought, wow, that's a really cool idea, because they were getting every, everyone involved. I think the trouble that they had with that is the name. I mean, because mm. fair exchange has been done before, right? So, so it needed something else mm. to get the attractiveness. The empathy of... Exactly right. And, and, and so for me, out of, out of this, mm. I, I got a couple of things. I, mm. I got t two principal things. Um, one was that words matter. Words mm. matter. And the second thing I got is that purpose matters. Purpose matters. And it's that purpose that drives you mm -hmm. to unleash the passion and to put things together so that it becomes an attractive proposition, not just for you, but for the other people yes. that you want to get involved. So, yeah, great time. Great yes. time. Thank you so much. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you.